Hey guys, welcome to another installment of Evan's Morning Roundup. So this morning, what we're going to do is we're going to put a note in my English housemate's post. So to begin with, what we need are three things. We need two sheets of paper and a package sent to my housemate here. Okay, now that that's done, we move on to the next step. Opening his post. Oh, what's this? Does that say sealed by customs? Uh-oh, Seb's been up to some funny business. Has he been caught out? Okay, so we're unpackaging this here now. And already I can see there's a note from revenue left inside. Oof. Said, mate, you've been nicked. What? Hi, everyone. Right now, we're going to film today's tea. And today's tea is with Martha Denise, a third year UCC architecture student. Hello, Martha. Oh, for the love of God, no. To injury, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the notes anyway. I mean, even though the guards will probably be at the door any minute now to take Seb away forever, hopefully due to internment, due to his British atrocity, I'm going to put the notes in anyway. And I will update you all as the guards come in. I'm just putting them in now. I'm going to fold that up and put the package back in. Nicked, mate. Now, I want to talk about quite a serious issue to me personally. And that is the issue which uh, Minister for uh, Disabilities, Finian McGrath, who's an independent alliance TD, raised in the media on Saturday. And that is the idea of political policing. Now, I'm going to probably get in a lot of trouble from this, from the Illuminati, from MI6, and from all British operatives in the Irish Free State. But I need to call this out because... Since I announced on the afternoon of April 1st that I was launching my blog, my vlog, I've been subject to significant harassment by free state authorities. 
which I, I'm not going to stand for. And I'm not going to be someone who's quiet and who takes this while they trample over our rights. This morning, my friend and comrade, Seb Nixon, is having his post searched by free state authorities who raise money for this corrupt capitalistic government. This morning, my mom received a letter demanding that I attend Wexford Circuit Court on April 30th. This despite the fact that I've made it clear on many occasions that I'm a UCC student and UCC is in Cork because I go to college in UCC and Wexford Circuit Court is about four hours away and now the Free State Authorities are conspiring to force me to leave my home in Cork and return for an unspecified period which will make me miss all of my exam submissions. So tomorrow I'm going to start a GoFundMe campaign and my aim is to hit $5,000 redos to be able to fight this case and to say no I'm not going to serve on this jury. I'm going to keep exposing this corrupt government and I'm not going to stand by. I'm going to keep doing my big talk and because the government want to stop me saying these things I want you to like, comment and share my posts as a message to Leo Veruca and as a message to the rest of the Zionist conspiracy that I, Evan, will not be silenced. Thank you very much. Stick dreams, the brand that cares.